Good afternoon, Cross Timbers. Today is Tuesday, April 24th, and I am Brianna McCarty. Thank you for tuning into our Texan TV newscast. In campus news, last night Tarleton held the Silver Tap Ceremony. The ceremony is one of the most distinguished traditions in Tarleton history. Three students' flames were laid to rest last night with the help of family, faculty, and peers. In local news, The Flash Today reported that a new home for Tarleton State University School of Engineering achieved an important milestone last Friday when workers reached the pinnacle of the building's construction and marked more than 100,000 hours without a time lost injury. Set to open in January 2019, the 97,000 square foot, foot faculty will, facility will provide space for many programs currently housed in several facilities across the Stephenville campus, including civil, mechanical, electrical, and environmental engineering, engineering technology, construction science, and computer science. This is an extraordinarily important building to Tarleton, said President Dominic Batavio. We have worked for many years to develop a more robust engineering program. It has only been, it's been only in the last few years that we have been able to expand beyond a couple of degree programs and make significant progress as an engineering school. And now today's Texas National and International News from the Associated Press. The De Texas Department of Transportation will forgive more than $1.3 billion in late fines and fees owed by drivers on state toll roads since 2007. The department announced the decision last week at a House Transportation Committee meeting this year in response to a cap on unpaid toll fees lawmakers imposed last year, the Austin American Statesman reported. The move only covers tolls incurred on roads operated by the Transportation Department, such as State Highway 130 and State Highway 45 North. The decision doesn't affect tolls, fines, or fees racked upon tollways operated by the Central Texas Regional Mobility Authority or other local toll agencies. The new law took effect last month and limits administrative fees on state-operated tollways to $6 with an annual maximum of $48. The department will charge $4 a month for unpaid tolls. In national news, the mentally unstable gunman suspected of killing four people in a late-night shooting at a Waffle House restaurant was arrested near his apartment Monday after hiding from police for more than a day. Authorities said police, po police and federal agents had mounted a massive manhunt in Nashville for 29-year-old tw Travis Ranking after the Sunday morning attack, in which a gunman clad only in a jacket opened fire with an assault rifle on a diverse crowd at the restaurant before a customer disarmed him. Ranking was formally charged late Monday with four counts of criminal homicide and held $2 million bond court records show. In international news, a 25-year-old in a rented van plowed down a, a Toronto sidewalk crowded with lunchtime strollers Monday, killing 10 people and injuring 15 in what appeared to witnesses in the city's police chief as a deliberate attack. The driver was quickly arrested in a tense but brief confrontation with officers, officers a few blocks away. Witnesses in the police chief said the driver identified by authorities as Alec Minnison was moving fast and appeared to intentionally jump a curb in the North York neighborhood as people filled the sidewalks in a warm afternoon. He continued for more than a mile knocking out a fire hydrant and leaving bodies strewn in his wake. Officials would not comment on a possible motive except to play down a possible connection to terrorism. For more of today's national and international news, we turn to the AP News Minute. This is AP News Minute. Toronto, Canada authorities say it appears the person who drove a van over busy streets and mowed down pedestrians was acting deliberately. At least 10 people were killed. A 25-year-old man is in custody. The man accused of shooting dead four people in a Tennessee Waffle House is being held on $2 million bond. Travis Reinkeen faces four counts of criminal homicide. He was arrested on Monday. CIA Director Mike Pompeo's nomination to be Secretary of State now goes to the full Senate. He won the Senate Foreign Relations Committee's recommendation by a narrow vote. And President Trump hosts the French president for a state dinner at the White House on Tuesday. 
It's the first official state visit of the Trump presidency. Shirley Smith, the Associated Press, with AP News Minute. Police in the Dallas suburb are investigating a domestic violence complaint against Dallas Cowboys defensive lineman David Irving from a woman who later recanted. Frisco Police spokesman Rad Rotella said Monday no arrests have been made. Rotella said a woman identified as Irving's girlfriend called police twice Sunday. After several media reports Monday, the woman wrote in a message posted on Instagram that her allegations were false. She said she was upset over an argument that led to neighbors calling 911. NFL spokesman Brian McCarthy said the league will look into the incident. A spokesman for the team and Irving's agent declined comment. Irving recently signed a 2018 second round tender worth $2.9 million as a restricted free agent. The 24-year-old Irving was suspended the first four games last season for violating the NFL's ban on performance enhancers. According to the National Weather Service, today's forecast calls for a high around 84 degrees with mostly sunny skies and a low around 56 tonight with a 40% chance of showers. This has been a production of Texan TV News, a product of the Texan News Service from the Tarleton State University campus in Stephenville, Texas. Watch us live on Apple Tree Channel 2.1 in the dorms at 12.30 weekdays. If you live off campus, tune in on Northern Cable Channel 9. You can follow the Texan News Service on Facebook and Twitter and check out our website at www.texannews.net for all of your latest local, state, national, and international news. Today's broadcast was produced by DeAndre Hogg, Brianna McCarty, Callie Smith, and Joel Leach. Have a wonderful day, Texans.